It is Mr. Premachandran's hope that the government will accept the TNA's assistance in terms of the IDP issue. Whether they will or not remains to be seen in the coming months as monsoon rains loom closer. Next, we move on to the subject of police brutality and its most recent manifestation, the beating and forced drowning of a young man in Colombo in broad daylight. This incident and others in the recent past have badly shocked and eroded the public's faith in the country's law enforcement officers. Activists organized a show of public outrage against police brutality last week, but what else is needed to ensure that incidents like this one do not happen again? Our next story gives you more. They gathered outside the Fort Railway Station in Colombo at noon on the 4th of October, a few days after 26-year-old Balavarnam Sivakumar was killed. To condemn the behavior of the police and to call upon the government to take action and bring the perpetrators to justice. With the Civil Monitoring Commission, Platform for Freedom and several other organizations uh, to protest against the brutal uh, killing of the uh, young boy who was mentally uh, ill. Uh, if he was violating uh, law and order, the police should have taken him to custody and taken action against him according to the law of this land. If we allow police to behave like this, without showing our unhappiness, our, the, the deplorability of the act uh, in this manner, uh, we are letting them free. This is not the first time. The young man, afflicted by a mental condition, had been throwing stones at passing trains along the Bambalapitiya coastline. As one of the attacked trains stopped, the man jumped into the ocean, only to be pursued by three people, including two police officers, who beat him mercilessly and forcibly drowned him. The video of what happened, shot by TNL TV, has been widely viewed on television and online, as the country's media was quick to pick up the story. If not for the video, the truth may not have come to light. There were many bystanders, but none were able to stop the killing. So we think that people have to come forward to protest against this and we demand the government re-establish the police commission and also the institutions introduced by the 17th amendment of the constitution. According to rights activists, public apathy may be contributing to what appears to be a growing trend in the police force, although authorities describe them as isolated incidents. In August 2009, another incident of police brutality took place when police officers tortured and killed two young men at the Angulana police station near Muratua. But with the war behind us and expectations of peace in the future, such incidents of violence are disturbing and people want to be reassured that they will not continue. Yeah, actually, uh, the investigations have been handed over to uh, uh, Colombo Crimes Division mm -hmm. and uh, uh, under the supervision of uh, the director uh, Colombo Crimes Division, uh, they are conducting investigations. Uh, they have recorded more than uh, 40 statements to date. And uh, furthermore, that uh, uh, they have arrested uh, uh, two police officers and uh, two civilians uh, who are having uh, involvement uh, in this uh, particular case. And in addition to that, uh, uh, we do this investigation under the uh, supervision of uh, uh, the Attorney General's Department. Uh, we, time to time, uh, the director uh, of the Crimes Division uh, discuss with the Attorney General's Department officials and. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, they uh, get their advice also. 
and uh, in addition to that uh, the magistrate uh, kalambu uh, is conducting a, a magistrate inquiry uh, and uh, furthermore that uh, uh, the jmo kalambu uh, has already conducted a post mortem and uh, we are waiting for the report because he has sent uh, some of the particles to uh, kalambu uh, kalambu uh, to uh, uh, kalambu uh, uh, government analysis department and also to uh, uh, peradeni uh, medical faculty uh, for further investigation time to time we are educating the police officers uh, we have been given instructions and furthermore that uh, uh, this uh, in fact in fact we have uh, we have already uh, announced that uh, whoever who is getting involved in this type of uh, uh, cases will be uh, taken to early, i mean legal action and uh, they will be taken uh, Uh, treated as the same manner that we are treating the others in fact uh, when you compare the crime figures uh, i mean there is no i mean uh, in fact uh, uh, there is no increase of crime as such uh, but uh, there have uh, there we have had a few incidents here and there and uh, and uh, majority of those cases have been solved and uh, and we have taken them to courts